Okay, here's the things you're gonna be needing today. You're gonna be needing the stapler here. This glue, which will dry pretty quick. Any roller, AA battery, anything to roll down the paper. Okay, we have this piece right here and this piece. Make sure number two and number one's facing you like this. Seven, eight, BA, all the papers face this way. All right, first take this piece. You see the number four is there. There's a smooth side here and texture on this side. Take the number fours. Bend it down on the smooth side. Take the number threes, bend it down the same way. Now flip it over. Pull back the tabs, the A tabs. Okay, here's your stapler. Put a staple in there, make it nice and secure and flat. Do the same with the number threes. Okay, flip it over. Now you see the tabs here. Number two, and the number two on this side, and the number one and number one. You can take this and flip over the number two to touch the number two. Why don't you fold all the dotted lines where the creases are. So it makes a nice round uh, area. And put the number and the number two tab back the opposite way. Now fold it over, it should look like this. See how it stands up with all the angles bent. And we're gonna line it up right there with the uh, dotted lines matching one another. That's how you know it's placed good. Look at the dot lines on the inside. Okay, you can close it down, hold it in place, reach in there with your staple, and put a staple there so it's nice and secure. Well, we'll be repeating the same thing on the other side, the number one. See how that looks? All right, let's move over to the number one side. We're gonna repeat the same process as we just did. Fold along the lines, upward. Tab number one will go down in the opposite direction and fold it over and you'll see how it lines up. You don't want to bend these angles that, uh, you know, totally flat. You're just bending them a little bit to crease them. At this point. Okay, line up your dotted lines and put the uh, dotted lines all lined up. And you fold it down flat here well enough to get the stapler in there. Reach in this way and staple one staple in there. Okay, open it up, make sure everything moves, everything looks right. Okay, great. Now we have the number seven tabs and the eight tabs, bend those back and forth. Get those uh, flexible so they're ready to move on both uh, sides. There's a seven and eight, bend those. Then your uh, B tabs back and forth uh, and bend the B tabs up to face the A tab. And you want to put the A and B tabs and the green one right here. And 
Make sure you can read the B and A on the green uh, it's facing you. It's facing the right way. It's important that the green uh, leaf is not flipped over. Work with these tabs, get them ready to go in. As you can see, you got the A and B and B and A on the other side. And they'll come up from the bottom. And then you can just pull them in tight, make sure it's a tight seal, and you'll bend over the tab. It's important not to crush the bottom structure underneath. Make sure the bottom structure folds down flat if you're going to press down hard. You don't want any bends in the incorrect area. Okay, we're going to put some glue both sides here. This stuff dries in about 30 seconds, so make sure you uh, work pretty quick. When it's wet, it's purple. When it dries, it's clear, so you can tell if you have to reapply some glue real quick. All right, let's push down this tab here. Use your roller. You can roll gentle to start with and then add more pressure as you go. This is a real tight seal. All right, it's looking good so far. Let me see a little closer. Alright, and needs a little bit more. There we go. Now let's do the other side. Let's get the A and B tab up and we'll repeat the same process as we just did the uh, first side. Kind of get the tabs through, fold down the bottom. So you can lay it down flat and you can pull the tabs up and get them to lay down. Oh, looks like my A tab come up from the other side. Push that down. I'm gonna have to re-glue that side. Maybe I'll just add a lot more glue. Be a little bit more patient. I think I'll hold this one in my hand a little bit. Let it set up real quick. Make sure it's secure. All right, we'll get the A tab going at the same time as I'm holding down the B tab and. enough glue on the A tab and now I'll hold both of them and you know, let's hold that for a few seconds and get that to set up and then sure you use the roller grind everything down flat if you don't succeed try 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 again on this A tab here we go this time will work for sure Alright, flip it over, pop it up. You have to bend the little creases on the one side there, and now I'll stand straight up just like that. Pop up the other side, and do the last crease by the uh, stapler there. Okay, now that piece is done, we set that aside. Here we go, step two. So, these are the pieces you're going to need for step two. Push these aside. We're going to be using this piece here first. One side smooth, the other side is texture. Fold the smooth sides together so the texture is on the outside. Nice hard crease. Roll it flat. Okay, we're going to put some glue in here. Get all the sides. Push down, we'll, uh, roll it again flat here. Make sure this piece is really glued well.
Okay, see? Alright, let's grab the piece with five slots on it. See the little knobs right there? We're going to take it and bend it. Fold it over temporarily. And we'll take that one side and hook it in. And then if you bend it over enough, you should have enough room to fit into the slot here. And then just a little bit more of an angle to get it in there. Here we go. Let's try again. Push it in there. You take this bent part and unbend it, and now it's locked in place and it won't fall out. Okay, bend the tab over. Doesn't matter which way you bend it. We're gonna be gluing it down. Let's put some glue on both sides here, real quick. You wanna keep your glue uh, cap covered also, so it doesn't dry out in between uh, steps. Push that down. Roll it so it's a nice tight seal again. Take a couple seconds for it to dry. Okay, there we go. Staying in place. Set that aside. Now we'll grab this piece. There's a texture side and a smooth side. We want the texture side to be outside. Bend each of the lines. Don't bend them uh, completely on top of itself. Just bend it about uh, 45 degree angles all the way around. So it makes a nice round uh, area. And then take the one side and top the other. You'll see where they glue together and that makes sense. One panel will be on top of the other panel completely. Let's put some glue in there. It doesn't matter which panel is on top of one another. Okay, put those together, line it up top and bottom so they're lined up perfectly. Hold it down until it's glued pretty well. You can fold it all the way flat here with the right position and then get a roller and you can roll it down. This one might take a couple of tries to get to glue very well. Oh. Looks like I rolled a little bit too hard and moved it out of position. I'll slide it back real quick. Okay, bend these tabs in and we'll bend them out just 90 degrees so they get nice, uh, loose, easy to work. Uh, I'm going to have to roll this again, I think. Nice steady hard roll. Give it time to dry. Make sure you have it lined up, it's not being pushed uh, crisscross one another. Okay, now we want to grab the piece you just finished. It's going to go down the middle. And the big wider tab side will go up into the slots. The 
slide the slides that have you have not bent yet. See how that works? And then you can bend down the tabs and glue those. Maybe get some glue on both the paper and the tabs so both sides are sticky. I have to hold the flat here. Here, I use a tweezers to reach in there. Any item that's flat that'll fit in there, just put some pressure on there and make sure it's a solid sealed connection. So a lot of torque on these cards when you open and close them. So I make every glue glued item uh, done well. Another tab here, glue on both sides. I think I'll use my tweezers again, reach in there and make sure I press down hard and get a nice tight seal again. Set that aside. We're gonna grab the green and the other remaining purple slot. Uh, if you look at the first one you just did, there is a point coming out the one side. And you're gonna have to line up the other gray one here with the point. So make sure you flip it over or whatever way you can so it matches 100% the shape of the two pieces you just glued together. And then take your green one, put it on top. Again, match up the shapes. That little point will help you line it up. When they're all lined up, take the top two, keep them together, move the other one away. Slip over the green one like a book. Put glue in there. I like to glue the gray one and not the green one. The, the green one's kind of like a cheese grater. I always try to glue, glue the piece that has the less amount of holes that will cut away the glue and make a mess. All right, flip back over that green one, close that book, if you will. Line them up. Let that dry. Roll down all the sides. Make sure it's a tight seal. Lots of contact. Okay, pick up your original part. Double check your tabs. They're still lining up the, the right way, your shapes. Flip over the green gray one. Put some glue on the back. And then we're gonna apply that to the final two pieces that you did at the start. Here we go, line them up. That's a nice tight seal, flip it over. Get in there and roll as best you can. Maybe use your tweezers if you can't reach in there. See how it is? Looks great. Set it aside. All right. Now we're going to be going on to the next piece. Grab the big green grass. 
This one doesn't matter which way you roll it up. The texture is the same on both sides. You can roll it up and see how they glue together and the grass will match up on top to the three pieces. All lines up well. Oh, we'll put some glue on this one. Even glue on the, the grass. I like to go from the thick part of the piece outwards towards the grass. So I'm not pushing into the grass so the grass doesn't bend and fold and twist. Kind of going with the grain, if you will. All right, let's roll it up. Get a nice tight seal on this after everything's lined up. Check the bottom. Check the grass blades. All right, we'll bend the side here on each side. And we'll lay flat. We can use a roller again. Pull it out gently until it really sets up and starts to stick to itself. Roll away from the grass blades. Okay, it looks like the glue set up pretty well. Let's bend the rest of them about 45 and make this in the kind of a perfect circle. All right, that's looking great. Set that aside. Let's grab your original piece. You gotta put the grass. Here we go, we're gonna bend this tab. Okay, I'll put the grass in here, just a idea of what it looks like. And we're going to set this all aside here. Okay, here we go. We have some pink ones and a couple of dragonflies here. So we got four pink pieces, two dragonflies. Let's go ahead and set stuff aside. We're going to do a dragonfly piece first. Let's grab the dragonfly. We're going to add some glue to the pink part, see where it goes. And I like to glue the pink part um, because we're going to leave the wings unglued so we can open up the wings so the dragonfly can fly. Just try to cover up all the pink part by the tail. Nice good seal. Alright, let's flip it over and work on the next side. back the dragon wings to make sure no glue touches them. He slides it around quite a bit with that glue. Which is good, you can really get it in place before it dries. A little bit of a roll here. Cover up your glue. Okay. Open up the wings, see how it goes. Close up the wings. Let's set this aside. Oh, wait. Let's glue this together first. Let's bend all the 
dotted lines, make this in the circle again. A whole panel will be on top of the other panel, see? So you're gonna put the V's together. Put some glue around here. Make sure you don't press too hard. The little slots will cut away the glue like a cheese grater. But make sure you get all the different sides. That's a good tight seal all the way around. Make sure all the glue is purple, which means it's wet and it starts to become clear, it's dry, and it won't stick. Okay, we're gonna line this up. Make sure the top and bottom's lined up, the sides are lined up. Put your roller in there, roll down gently until it starts to set. <laughs> 